monsters inside me. The pork tapeworm is a particularly nasty parasite. In 60% of the diagnosed cases of pork tapeworm, the victim has cysts inside the brain. And when you have a cyst in your brain, very bad things can happen. You can have seizures, coma, hallucinations, or possibly even death. The pork tapeworm has two hosts, humans and pigs. The parasite forms cysts in the tissues of a pig. If a human eats undercooked pork that contains the cysts, they get infected. In the human gut, the cysts hatch into adult tapeworms, where they can grow up to several meters long. The adult worms lay eggs that are passed in human feces. If a pig then eats the feces, the eggs grow into cysts in its muscle tissue, and the life cycle repeats. Where sanitation is not very good, this parasite can be very common. In some parts of the world, up to 6% of the population harbor this parasite. In most cases, humans get the parasite by eating contaminated pork. But a few get infected when they come in contact with egg-laden human feces. If you eat undercooked pork, you end up with the tapeworm in your gut. But if you eat the eggs that have been passed out in feces, then you can end up with the cysts in your tissues, and that can be a lot worse. The only way to kill the parasite is with a powerful drug called albendazole, which starves it to death. The pork tapeworm is one of the most common parasites to affect humans. It infects over 50 million people worldwide. The best way to avoid it is to wash your hands before and after handling food. And if you eat pork, make sure that it's cooked all the way through. One of the reasons that the pork tapeworm is so nasty is that once it forms a cyst inside the brain, it's almost impossible to kill. 